Welcome to my channel. Today we'll take a closer look to Pioneer CT F750 cassette deck. This is the device that belongs to so-called Blue Line or Blue series of Pioneer. What is Blue Line? It's a model line of Pioneer Hi-Fi components sharing innovative technology, excellent build quality and the same catchy look, super shiny front panels and blue indicators with Misty Glow. This particular deck has full auto reverse. Even the famous Nakamichi Dragon doesn't have the ability to record in auto reverse. Let's take a closer look. Let's take a look at the front panel. Let's see what kind of controls we have here. Uh, first of all, the power switch. Uh, I had to dim my lighting a little bit so we can see all the lights. I want to drag your attention to this li little light. This is so-called tape load indicator. This is actually a nice comfy feature that can indicate how much tape left. Okay, I will add some more lighting. Another button here is special button which is only available for these kind of decks. This button closes the head compartment. Did you notice that rumbling noise? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this manual cassette loading and I don't like the sound of rambling head cover but this is what we have here below we have a classical player control uh, let's start playback Rewind, stop, fast forward, stop, play, pause, record control, record control works together with play. Take a look at those two indicators. This is not just a light, this is also a fully functional button. Now we are playing cassette tape from another side, actually this is a reverse and okay let's turn the playback again. To switch between sides you don't have to actually stop the playback. You can control the output level by using output knob. This knob uh, controls both channels simultaneously. Its neighbor, the input control, has separate knobs for left and right channel, which is very convenient for recording. While we play back the recording, we can use different modes of the indicator. Yeah, by the way, this is so-called Pioneer Blue Line series. And one of the reasons why it's called blue, because of the blue, beautiful, nice, fluorescent indicator. So this indicator can work in two modes. When the button is depressed, it, it reads peak level. Those are peaks. In this position, it reads average values of the signal. 
This is a very convenient feature during, especially during the recording session, because it helps you to adjust recording level uh, very easily. The next four buttons is the tape type control, uh, tape selection control. Um, the model F750 has 50 at the end. According to the Pioneer specs, 50 means uh, this device can read metal tapes and there is a metal switch. This is not a metal tape, but we are just playing with it. The metal switch has its own indication and other types they don't. So we have a ferrochrome, chrome and standard. They don't have indication here. Only metal has. Next three buttons, those are reverse mode controls. This is a loop. Very nice feature for cassette tapes fans. They can put their favorite compilation and run it all day. Second mode allows us to play back two sides, side A and side B without stop. And in this mode, the cassette will stop when it reaches the end of the tape on each side. This device equipped with the mechanical counter tape counter. There is a counter reset, resets to zero. This deck doesn't have any counter memory, so it's a very basic counter. The rest is just a regular controls. This is Dolby. It's a Dolby or Dolby noise reduction of standard B, Dolby B, it has own indication. This is a record mute. This switch only uh, useful during recording session. It cuts off all the unwanted circuits and allows us to record the pure silence. A uh, very nice feature to have a silent gaps between tracks and finally we have a phone's input this phone uh, phone's input is controlled by output very convenient and that's about it as you can see there are no any fancy controls any fancy knobs regulators uh, the most recognizable feature here is the uh, direction switch. Yeah, very nice toy. Okay, this is it about the front panel controls. Let's talk about the rear panel. Rear panel. No surprises here. RCA jacks for output and input. Um, serial number shield. Uh, electrical power port. Um, there is one significant feature though. Uh, there is a screw that allows us to connect uh, grounding. I never seen grounding available in cassette decks. This is first time I see grounding in the cassette deck. Usually this is a standard feature in the turntables, but not in the cassette decks. Well, I suppose these can increase the quality of the playback, but I'm not sure. This is it about the rear panel. As you can see, I removed the cover, so we can take a look 
inside. I will begin the story about the internal parts, the interior of this deck uh, by mentioning that this is a full outer reverse deck and it has three hats. One is play and recording and two erasing hats. The amount of these hats allows this deck to be truly reverse so it can play back and record in both directions let's take a closer look under the hood all we can see here is a lot of electronic components it has 41 transistor on board on board and 62 diodes uh, one motor here uh, mechanical part so when you service this device you have to replace three belts one two and third one is for the tape counter so you can also see there are integrated circuits here. I assume this is for the blue indicator. Own power supply. And lots of wires. A little conclusion. This is a very nice model. The example of Pioneer Blue Series line. Very shiny polished silver front panel. These massive, massive knobs and bright blue fluorescent indicator. It has great features on board, including full auto reverse. It has recording control separated for left and right channels which is very good it has extensive reverse controls metal tape selector this is a great device for the end of 70s and obviously this is a great conversation starter for any hi-fi enthusiast thank you very much for your time subscribe to my channel have a great day